Our top story on We on Dispatch at this hour is from the war zone. Ignoring the concerns expressed by the United Nations, Israel is pressing ahead with its air and ground offensive, worsening an already dire humanitarian situation in Gaza. In the last 24 hours, the Israel army claims it struck over 100 targets, amass military sites and other infrastructure in Jabalia, northern Gaza and Han Yunis in the south. Israel has asserted that the war will continue for many more months, adding there are no shortcuts to dismantling Hamas. It has claimed that the war's objectives are essential. So far, Israel has lost around 161 soldiers. All this as Gaza continues to reel under a severe water shortage. The flow of food, fuel and medicine is reduced to a trickle. United Nations agencies say they are miles away from addressing the needs of Gazans. Meanwhile, the outgoing Dutch finance minister has been appointed humanitarian coordinator for Gaza. The World Health Organization has reported almost all of Gaza's hospitals have stopped functioning. In the latest news, Israel returned the bodies of 80 Palestinians killed in Gaza through the Red Cross to Hamas authorities. Violence is also spiraling in the West Bank. On Wednesday, Palestinians said an Israeli operation killed at least six people in a refugee camp. Since the start of the war, over 300 Palestinians have been reportedly killed in the West Bank. Elsewhere in the region, Iran-backed groups like the Houthi and the Hezbollah are also engaged in skirmishes. U.S. military forces shot down over a dozen attack drones and several missiles fired by Houthi rebels at ships in the Red Sea. Israel says its fighter jet intercepted a hostile aerial target in the Red Sea aimed at its territory. In Iraq, the U.S. military launched strikes on pro-Iran groups that it blames for attacks on U.S. and allied forces. Iraqi authorities say at least one person was killed. Most of the attacks have been claimed by the Islamic resistance in Iraq. While on the Lebanon-Israel border, the Hezbollah says an Israeli strike killed one of its fighters and two others. Earlier, an anti-tank missile fired by Hezbollah injured nine Israeli soldiers. Since the October 7th attack, 150 people have been killed on the Lebanese side, while four civilians and nine soldiers were killed on the Israeli side. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.